What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. Today we are checking out a new robotic vacuum from Ecovacs called the Dbot 901. Now you can also buy the Dbot 900 and the only difference between the 900 and the 901 is the color. So the 900 is white and the 901 is black, so the one that I have um, right here. You can find this vacuum for around $350 to $400, but I did see this vacuum going on sale on a couple of occasions. Alright, so this vacuum is mostly intended for hard floors, however, it does good on carpets too because it has a brush at the bottom. Now, if you don't have any carpets at home and you'd rather um, remove that brush, you can remove the brush because there is an adapter that comes in the box and you basically replace the brush with that adapter and this so you don't have a brush anymore. In the box, you're also going to find the replacement filter for the vacuum and two replacement side brushes. So basically those side brushes push the dirt towards the center of the vacuum where um, we have the suction hole. Now the suction power can also be adjusted, but in order to adjust the suction power, you're going to have to install an app um, on your um, smartphone smartphone or tablet and the app is available on iOS and Android. So you can either have um, the suction power set on standard or on uh, maximum and of course if you have it set on maximum the vacuum will do more noise and uh, it would be ideal whenever you're home to have it on standard because it doesn't make as much noise. Inside the box you're also going to find the user manual for the vacuum and I do recommend that you check out the user manual and uh, there is also the charging dock for it. So the vacuum can go back to the charging dock and charge by itself so you don't have to take it back to the charging dock uh, whenever it runs out of battery. So for example if uh, the vacuum goes around cleaning and then it runs out of battery it will return to the charging dock, recharge and then go back um, and finish the cleaning. On one charge the vacuum can clean for about an hour if you have it set to the maximum suction power or about an hour and 25 minutes if you have it set to the standard suction power. Now for my house the vacuum is done cleaning in about 35 minutes so it never has to go back to the dock recharge and start cleaning again but I imagine that if you have a bigger house that will be the case but uh, me personally I haven't uh, tried that um, continuous cleaning after the vacuum charges because my house is just too small for that. The vacuum is mostly made out of plastic and it doesn't look anything spectacular or sensational it basically looks just like all the other robotic vacuums available on the market. So on the top we have the power button and a little LED that will show you if the vacuum is connected to Wi-Fi and we also have the laser mapping system. So this vacuum can map your entire house and it basically knows where it cleaned and where it hasn't cleaned and this way it doesn't have to go over the same area twice. You can also see that map on your smartphone and you can see where the vacuum is at all times. So the vacuum will basically divide your house in sections and if you just want the vacuum to clean one section you can just send it to that particular section. Of course you can just um, select a little portion on the map so let's say that you spilled something on the floor you can just select a little portion on the map and the vacuum will just go and clean that um, particular portion. You can see the charger right there on the map as well and if you send the vacuum home you can basically look on the map and see it going back to its dock. From that app you can also see a cleaning log so you can see when the vacuum cleaned and how long it took it to clean. You can also set a schedule so the vacuum can start cleaning by itself, you don't have to do anything, you set a schedule whenever you're not home and then the vacuum goes cleaning and then it goes back to the dock but of course you're gonna have to remember to, to clean the dustbin every now and then. And the, the app will also show you when you have to replace the filter and the side brushes. So everything is very accessible through the app. And a very cool thing about this vacuum is the fact that you can control it with your voice through the Google Assistant or Alexa. And um, here are a couple of examples what you can do with it. Hey Google, start the downstairs vacuum. You got it, start your view Hey Google. Send the downstairs vacuum home. Sure, I will put your name on the charge. And we should go back to the vacuum because I kind of drifted them away from it. So at the top here we also have the dustbin and in my case I get to clean the dustbin every two or three days but um, once you have the vacuum set to clean your house every second day or so it's not gonna pick up that much dirt so you may go um, a bit longer than two or three days. But it really depends how messy your house is. So on the front we have some sensors and we also have a bumper but the bumper has um, some type of rubber um, around it so even if it bumps into something it's not gonna damage your house or your furniture or whatever. 
and I've had them this cleaning my house for about a month now and it hasn't damaged anything. However, the vacuum does have some scratches. I'm not sure where it got the scratches from, but um, it definitely has a couple of scratches here and there um, from cleaning. At the bottom, we have the driving wheels and the wheels are big enough so the vacuum can climb over carpets and most um, small objects. But I do recommend that you pick up most small objects because you just don't want the vacuum to get stuck on something um, whenever it's cleaning and you're not at home. Because then you're going to come back home and the vacuum hasn't finished um, cleaning. Uh, we also have some sensors so the vacuum is not gonna fall down the stairs and I did try this um, on a few occasions because um, it wouldn't be fun if the vacuum would actually fall down the stairs but you're gonna have to clean those sensors every couple of weeks or so because they do become um, quite dusty after a while. As I mentioned earlier the vacuum will map your house and then will clean based on that map. So first it does the edges um, for each room and then it does the inside of the room and then it moves to the next um, room and this way it's not gonna miss anything uh, inside your house. On hard floors, you're not going to see anything left behind the, the vacuum, but over carpets, depending on what type of carpets you have, how thick the carpets are and so on, you may see some stuff left behind. Now, if you have the vacuum set to clean every second day or something like that, it will eventually pick up everything that it left behind the previous day if there was something left behind. And you'll definitely notice a difference in the dust in your house and the cleaning in your house, mostly if you haven't had the robotic vacuum before. Like most robotic vacuums, it can get stuck over some wires or some toys or some other things that you have around the house or it can even get stuck in a certain spot in your house. So I do recommend that you go following it around the first time when it vacuums because it will mostly get stuck in the exact same spot. This particular one gets stuck in my kitchen under a kitchen cupboard because the laser sensor just goes right under there and then it cannot escape. So. You have to make some changes around the house if you see that the vacuum gets stuck somewhere. In my case, I just opened the, the cupboard door and the, this way it doesn't get stuck. But um, I guess everybody's house is going to be different. But just follow the vacuum the first time um, when it goes cleaning by itself and you're going to see exactly where it's going to get stuck. And chances are it will uh, get stuck in the exact same spot the next day. So just place a chair there or a pillow or something like that and this way you're going to avoid the, the vacuum getting stuck um, when it's cleaning by itself and there is nobody home. And it's time to conclude this video. So I find this just as good as any Xiaomi robotic vacuum, for example, because um, those ones are kind of the same, but um, about a hundred bucks more expensive. So this one does the exact same thing. It uh, can map your house, it can clean your house, it can clean carpets, it can clean hard floors um, and so on. Now I did have this um, getting lost on a couple of occasions around the house, so it couldn't find the dock. Uh, it's uh, mostly happening in the same place. It goes in a bathroom and then um, it kind of closes the door behind him because it goes behind the door and then it cannot open the door obviously and then it gets lost, it doesn't know um, where it is anymore. But um, other than that, um, I think this is a pretty good vacuum. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed um, this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.